Hi, this is Amy from the Alt Store. I'm going to show you a quick demo of some different testings of the solar system that we can we can do using our combiner box. I've got a Midnight MNPV3. This can handle up to three breakers or two fuses. Now you want to make sure if you're going to be doing something that you're disconnecting the the breaker during the when the sun is shining. You've got a DC breaker that is able to to connect, disconnect under load. You cannot do this with a fuse. A fuse you cannot turn off when there's power coming from the solar panels. Um, an advantage of using fuses is that it can generally handle higher voltage. So you would usually have fuses in a, a grid tied system that's up to 600 volts and an off grid system would probably have breakers. So just kind of be aware if you're trying to do what I'm doing here, only do this if you have breakers. Okay. So I have not my breakers off. I have the negative from each of my solar panels going to my negative bus bar. That is combining the two together. I also have the meter negative there. So everything, all my negatives are together there. Now I've got my voltmeter set up to measure volts. So with my breakers off, I can measure to the bottom of breaker one and I've got 20 volts. I go to the bottom of, of breaker two and at 19.8 volts. So my first solar panel is putting out a little bit higher voltage than my second solar panel. Now, if I turn on the breakers, I can measure what the combined output is because the power is going through each of these breakers. I have a positive bus bar up here and that is combining the output. So now I've got these two solar panels wired in parallel. The pluses are together through the breakers and the minuses are together in the negative bus bar. So if I measure up here, I've got 19.9 volts. So it's kind of halfway in the middle between the 20 and the, the 19.8. So I wire in parallel. I keep the I keep the voltage the same or pretty much the between the two of them. Now, interesting to, to see if you get some shading on one of the solar panels and therefore the voltage drops. I'm going to look at my my unshaded one. I'm still at 20 volts. My shaded one, I've dropped down to 18.5 volts. So what do you think the output, the combined output of these is going to be? It's actually 19.5. So it brought the output of the, the combined output down, uh, not all the way down to the lowest one, but it did reduce the, the total voltage of the output. So this is important to keep in mind if you've got a system that you're wiring in parallel and you're going to have shading on one of them, you're going to pull down the voltage of the whole system just by shading one of the two panels. Now, let's switch over to amps and do the same thing. So I'm going to switch my multimeter over to amps. Go down to my DC amps. So let's do the same thing. Breakers off. I've got 0.17 amps on solar panel one, 0.32 amps on solar panel two. So this is really nice. If you're not getting what you expect to get out of your solar panels, this is a nice way to test where your problem is. Throw your breakers, put your multimeter on, on amps, and test and I'm able to see that that's my bad panel. Now, so if I've got 0.17 on one and 0.32 on the other, when I turn on my breakers and I go to my combined output, again, this is, com this is combining the positives, I'm at 0.5. So it has added the current together of those two, uh, two solar panels. So, when you wire in parallel, the pluses together and the minuses together, your amps increase and your voltage stays the same. This is important if I've got a PWM charge controller, I'm char trying to charge a 12 volt battery, I would wire these in parallel, double the current and keep the volts the same. So just wanted to show you a couple of little tests that you can do with your combiner box. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give us a like and a share. And uh, subscribe to our channel here at Alti Store so we'll notify you when new videos come out. Also, go to our website, altistore.com, where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.